the last four overs. Fingo's out. Looking for Kakane. Campbell takes it well, but Kakane completes the tackle. So it's been all rovers territorially, but no score on the board, and we've played at 12 minutes. Nine metres short centre field, that's Lindsay it was. Amphor, short ball. Let me offload away. Walton gets the ball away, Reedy picks it up from his toes. Last it's tackled by uh, Rovers. Again, it was on the last, so back to playing well. Breverton takes the tackle. Fifth and last for Batley. Amphor kicks to his right. Crossfield kick. It's uh, parried forward. Well, uh, Nedderton's warming up for Featherstone Rovers. Here's Galedio. Good ball to Finn. Here's Bostock who's on the field. Pushes off Danny Moore and goes on the charge down the middle of the field. Into the Batley half. He plays it to Andy Kane. Finn. Spreads it to Dale. Rover's got the overlap. Here's Saxton. He's got Ipperf outside him. So, oh, loses the ball in the tackle. Ball goes into touch. 18 metres away and a new set starting. Here's Bostock. Drives us to within seven. Plays the ball to Neverton. Here's Gledil. Tonks it to the line. In. Shot ball to Dale. Grayson, Johnny Grayson is over the line. He gets the ball down. Mr. Romy gives the try. The home fans are happy because of the penalty. The Rovers are first to cross and make it 4 0. Tonks offloads. Here's Grayson, the try scorer. Steps out of a couple of tackles, charging down the slope. He scored one full length for this year, but he's brought down there just outside the 30. Liam Finn. Good ball to Kane. Oh, Amper took a risk there. He come in. Unfortunately for him, he got Kane. Kane plays it 18 metres out. Here's Gledon. Oh, a pass on. Talking to the ref and getting on with it. Here's Toto. Tonka gets him. Too strongly, says the officials. And Amphoff moves Batley upfield for her last attack of his first half. And in good field position. Must be into the last minute, minute or two. As Robinson goes on the drive. Just a couple of metres short. Plays it to Flanagan, who goes inside. Oh, good work. That ball didn't look to play that, but uh, it's play on. Tom, tough loads. Spreads it, here's Gledhill. Salt Rovers don't score here, otherwise it'll be going to the screen. Score on the next play. Number 19 was Mark Tui for that. Had a quiet game on his 200th appearance. Robinson picks it up, but it's a poor ball away. Robinson again. He's over the line. This will go to the screen, looking for offside. There's a try. That was wrong. Andy Kane. Andy Kane. To Neverton. Underneath the post. Kurt Neverton. Andy Kane has been pretty quiet so far in the game. But he dropped the shoulder. Sped through the line. Turned the pace on there. Good support play from the open Kurt Neverton. Rovers underneath the post. Simple to kick off in it. 12 at pace. Effort goes into dummy half. It's a quick ball to Tonks, who drives towards the post, looks for the offload. 
but Batley wrap him up. Finn's the dummy half. Andy Kane. Ian Hardman. Good tackle by Amphi. And Hardman loses the ball under that tackle. Sprung down head and free to the Bulldog. Here's Hardman. Saxton. Oh, good footwork from Saxton. And he's through the gap up the middle of the field, Tommy Saxton. Good tackle that from Chris. But he's held on a bit too long. Couldn't give a penalty away. A good work from Ian Priest. Here's Kane. Bostock. Takes it well, does the Barty. Oh, he lost the ball under pressure from Smeaton. Andy Kane picks it up. The race is on. Campbell's fast, but Kane's pretty nifty. Goes on the arc. Makes the kick a bit easier. Andy Kane. He was quiet in the first half. But he's alive, alive in the second half. He's gone to the screen, what's he done that for? Probably not see how the ball come out, make sure that Smeaton didn't knock on. It is a try, Rovers take the lead. Andy Kane. By Spears it was. And for again, short ball to Smith. Well, Grayson missed him. It's a good job that uh, Tonka didn't. Great game Tonka's having. Here we go, short ball, Gary Manning. Over the line. Good work. Good evening, Rivers. That ball, Manning hit it down. Over the line. Scored the try. Caught the Rovers defence out. Benke Keynes have done that. Oh, Benke Keynes got him through the line. He's up the middle of the field, he's got no support. Ankle tap from uh... Well, they've got three markers there battling. Spears can't get the ball away though. But the uh, referee spotted the offside. Penalty, will they go for the two? Three minutes left. He strikes it now with a right boat. Ball's gone dead, so Batley will drop out from the 20. Finn. Hardman. Dale. Here's Boston. Nietzsche jumps in on him. Boston gets pushed back. Jordan's got the penalty. High tackle. As Finney strikes his kick. He's pulled it to the left. But it's gone dead, so Rollins will get the ball back. Stuart Dickens. Finn. Epworth. Hardman. Epworth's the dummy half. Liam Finn, Tony Tonks, Finn, Gale, Saxton, Saxton, Tommy Saxton, he gets the ball down, there's no need for the screen, Rovers have won it in the final minute. Well Daryl, it uh, finally finished as Rovers scored with two minutes to go, 24-18 uh, to Rovers and uh, well another great advert for uh, Championship Rugby on the, on the telly. Yeah, tough game, real tough game and we had to dig deep, we had to dig deep to win that. Um, you know, I said at half time, look, you know, it's alright when you're winning by clear margins, um, when the, these are the games you get the most benefit, the most value. Uh, out of really, you feel good about yourselves when you win these games because you know you've been challenged and you've come out the other end. So it was really pleasing to get that win today. 
And uh, obviously, uh, Benka Kane brought into the uh, club this week. He went straight into the uh, into the team. Shoulders one or two, uh, one or two nice touches. How did he go for you? Yeah, I thought he was strong. He got better as the game went on. Um, you know, it was tight in the first half, and Batley handled both our wingers pre pretty well, which you know, not many teams will do that as well as they did today. So, yeah, I thought he, he settled in, made a nice break at the end there, looked pretty quick. So, yeah, he's going to be a great acquisition for us. And a word about Batley, because I think they've played this game really tough and, and pretty well. And uh, well, it, it won't, you know, it won't really surprise you if we uh, if we met them at the back end of the season again. They can beat anybody on the day. Yeah, and certainly when you come here, you know, when you come here, they came at us today with everything, and uh, they were a tough team. You know, obviously they're well coached by a, a top fellow in Kyle Harrison, and uh, they made life difficult for us. We had to work exceptionally hard to win that, and uh, we weren't at our best at, at times today. But you can't be all the time. That's that's just life, and we had to work hard, and we showed a fair bit of character to come out the right end of that scoreline tonight. Well, we're playing the game at the minute with uh, with three props. Uh, Darrell, uh, I mean, Tonka and Stewie uh, went well as ever, but I think uh, Ben Gladwell is doing a real job for us at the moment. Yeah, he's a good kid, Benny. Um, you know, he's working hard, certainly wants to do well. Um, dropped off a, a couple of titles tonight, but you know, he's, he's great for us and we, we've desperately needed him, so he's, uh, he's been great to have him in there. And obviously, Ross Devote, he played second row today, he's a prop as well, so we're, we're not too badly off at the moment. Cheers, Darrell, for uh, the Rovers of... Uh, Featherston today, after 101 games in the Super League, what was it like playing Championship Rugby again? It was tough, mate, I tell you now. I, bet, I mean, I played for three weeks, like, so coming here to a tough place like Batley, you know, on this steep hill and all that kind of stuff, after the first five minutes, I was blowing out of my backside, like, so. But it's just good to back, get back playing rugby for a local team, and we just want to do well and, and kick on and have a good season with Featherston now. Well, obviously, you have some experience from, uh, was it the 2006 season when LKR uh, lifted that grand final trophy? We're getting to the business end of the season, and uh, I'm sure your experience of, uh, of that year will uh, be invaluable in the dressing room. Well, I hope so, mate. Like I say, I just want to come and I want to come and do well for the club and just play well each week consistently and just contribute to the team. I mean, we've, we've already got a brilliant side here. There's some really good players here who've played Super League or the Fringe Super League, and it's just a real professional setup. So I'm pretty confident in what we'll be able to do this year, and I just want to be a part of it. He might contribute to support as well. I'm part next to uh, four LKR fans who'll come to see you there, back with a the flag. They tell me they're bringing supporters buses to the uh, to the Rovers' home games, so it must be popular in LKR. Yeah, I think one or two of them like me. You know, I think I've disappointed one or two of them with my behaviour, like. But um, yeah, it's brilliant to see them come, and I can't thank them enough. Um, I got a phone call this morning asking if I could go to uh, supporters group presentation night, which was which kept quite nice feeling. You know, when somebody phones up and asks you to do that, so I'm going to go over there on 9th of August and enjoy that evening and sort of say my goodbyes and then kick on with Featherston and hopefully win another grand final. Well, let's hope so, and good luck for the remainder of the season, Ben. It's nice to have you here. Thanks a lot, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.